So I like to start off with a little incline bench press and if you notice, I bring it right to my chest without actually touching it to really give it that, you know, that resistance and pump because you know, whenever you bring it all the way to your chest, you know, people sit there and leave it there for a second and uh, I never fully lock out because it really gets the chest the most active and uh, you know, you'll know, notice the theme with my workouts. I'm not really using a lot of weight with anything, but I'm really focusing on the control. And uh, right here is just a little uh, drop set, well not drop set, uh, pause reps. And don't laugh at how weak I am. I'm cutting guys, I'm cutting. You know, that's the excuse that I'm just gonna use for this right here. But um, this is really just a little 225 small set, really focusing on um, taking the momentum out of it and pausing at the bottom and exploding up and it's really pathetic but I was only able to get five here so um, don't judge me for that I almost didn't think I was gonna get this last one I was about to cry and never again show my face on YouTube and for this next one I really really like this and if you notice my legs are to the side and I have my arm at a 90 degree angle. It's really to make sure that I'm taking all other body parts out of the equation. And uh, if you notice, I don't even have my hands, my uh, fingers around gripping it. It's all, and I have my, uh, my left hand touching my pec to make sure that I'm activating it properly. And uh, I usually do about 20 reps with each arm. And uh, you know, really, like the form is so much more important than the actual weight, and especially with the fact that I'm cutting, I, you know, I do really low weight and high reps. Look at those veins, though. <laughs> but uh, so after my 20 reps with each arm, I proceed to do a set with both hands at the same time, just to you know explode and finish, and really get that solid pump. And then I really like throwing this exercise in because uh, it's really the only exercise that I do that activates the lower chest. But uh, you know, if you incorporate this into your chest routine, then you really feel sore all the way around. And uh, you know, starting off on the bottom and bringing it up, you want to make sure you're doing almost like like a swoop and uh, you know, you're, you're bringing it straight up to the top at the very end. Ign ignore how awkward I am, guys. And here is probably the hardest thing I do. It's a uh, drop set, and uh, I'm using 60s here because I'm really focusing on the control of the weight. And if you notice, I go down really, really deep and kind of hold it, pause there for a second. And what I recommend weight-wise, you're going to do half of your starting weight for the drop set. So um, pick weight you can control, you know, don't, like if you notice with my workouts, I'm never trying to show out or impress or try to set the record of heaviest weight ever lifted. The only thing I care about is how good I look. And uh, you know, here I am with the 30s and Honestly, I usually can do less than what I started off with, with twice the weight, because this exercise is that effective. You can even see my chest start shaking near the end of it. I do not enjoy this. This is not fun, but it gets the job done, and I'm at the gym to get swole, not mess around. And then this is not necessarily a drop set but it's basically incorporating several exercises in one it really gets me fatigued really fast even with 40 so i'm just doing a uh, uh my version of a dumbbell fly where i really focus on getting it, it deep and uh really focus on the spread and then after doing about 15 of those i move to um, I'm not sure what it's called, but I basically hold them at the bottom of my chest and do just a, a straight up motion. And I really like this because it uh, targets the lower chest. And then after that, um, I do just a regular 
flat dumbbell bench, and I was only able to get five of them with 40s because, you know, that combination is that effective. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm all about getting the most results I can with the lightest weight and uh, least injury prone movements possible. And then this right here is a decline hammer press. And um, what I think about while I'm doing this is I try to point my chest towards the floor. As silly as it sounds, but um, if you keep it in the back of your head, it really, it really helps you focus on keeping your other body parts out of the equation. And uh, you know, I always make sure that I'm pulling my arms back far enough and I'm really uh, focusing on the pump because you know, the chest is one of the hardest muscles to isolate. And um, right here, I just like to throw near the end a little bit of a uh, bicep workout. I mean, you know, you kind of mm -hmm. s secondhand work out your biceps from everything else, you know, with your chest exercises. So uh, just like to, you know, feel the pump everywhere if I can. And uh, so I'm just doing some perspectives there. And then I really like doing a uh, one hand. Uh, I'm not sure what this is called. I guess it's like a side curl. Yeah, but um, yeah, forgive my uh, filmer here. She uh, wasn't exactly paying attention at getting the best angle whatsoever, but that's okay. We'll forgive her this one time. But um, you know, I just am really like my philosophy with how I work out is I really focus on uh, form over weight. You know, I never, like, I'm not really there to try to impress myself or anybody else. I'm just trying to look good. And I feel like, you know, my physique is, is where it's at with me, you know, being natural and really trying it the natural way. But um, that's my routine.